Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, Louis Chevrolet in his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, notable works, accolades, and demise. The Chevrolet Motor Car Company was, co-founded in 1911 by Swiss-American race car driver, mechanic, and businessman Louis Joseph Chevrolet. Also known as, Louis Joseph Chevrolet, famous as, race car driver and co-founder of the, Chevrolet Motor Car Company and, Frontenac Motor Corporation. Born, December 25, 1878, La Chaux de Fons, Switzerland. Died, June 6, 1941, Detroit, Michigan, United States. Father, Joseph Felician. Mother, Marie-Anne Angeline. Siblings, Gaston Chevrolet, Arthur Chevrolet, Fanny Angeline Chevrolet. Spouse, Suzanne Trevaux. Children, Charles Louis and Alfred Joseph. Place of death, Detroit, Michigan, United States. His parents were watch and clockmaker, Joseph Felician Chevrolet and his wife, Angelina Marie Chevrolet, and he was born on Christmas Day, December 25, 1878, in La Chaux de Fons, Switzerland. He was the second of his parents' six children, which included two daughters, and four sons. The family relocated to Bonn, a tiny town in France's Burgundy region, when he was about six years old. When he was young, his father taught him the fundamentals of mechanics and emphasized, the value of accuracy in the production of machine parts. He became interested in bicycle racing, as a teenager and started working as an apprentice in a bicycle shop. In his leisure time, he began fixing damaged bicycles with the aid of repair manuals. He was hired by the Moore's Auto Company in 1898, and the following year was transferred to a car dealership in Montreal, Canada. After six months of working as a chauffeur mechanic, he relocated to Brooklyn, New York. He began his career in America, by working for a fellow Swiss immigrants engineering firm before transferring to the Brooklyn offices, of the French automaker de Dion Bowden Motorette Company. He was granted the chance to drive a race car for, the, Fiat Auto Racing Team, in New York City there. After a few victories, he quickly gained a reputation in the United States as a race car, mechanic and driver. He left Fiat to work for William C. Durant, known as the father of GM, who hired him to create Buick concept cars that eventually helped the Buick Racing Team win numerous races. He learned about car design, despite having no academic schooling and began creating his own engines, for new cars in 1909 despite this. In his own machine shop on Grand River Boulevard in Detroit, Michigan, he constructed an overhead valve six-cylinder engine. He established the esteemed Chevrolet Motor Car Company on November 3, 1911, along with Durant and two additional financiers, William Little and Dr. Edwin R. Campbell. But in 1915, after disagreements with Durant over the design of the car, he sold Durant his ownership stake and left to create McLaughlin's company, a Canadian automaker that would produce Chevrolets. He and his brothers established, the Frontenac Motor Corporation in 1916 to produce racing components, for Ford Model TS. But because he lacked commercial acumen, the company quickly went down. Later on, he founded a failed aircraft factory and worked for the Indianapolis-based, Stutz Automobile Company. He started working as a consultant for General Motors Chevrolet business in 1934, and remained there until 1938, when a cerebral hemorrhage caused him to resign. He wed Suzanne Trevaux in 1905. Charles Lewis and Alfred Joseph, the couple's two boys, were a blessing. He beat legendary American driver, Barney Oldfield in his debut motor race in 1905, and from then on he broke records on all significant American tracks. He won 10 races on the renowned brick track during his career, in addition to another 27 significant races off track. He and Durant co-founded, the Chevrolet Motor Company in 1911, and despite having little formal education, he created the first Chevrolet car. 
In order to produce high-performance engine heads, he also founded the Frontenac Motor Corporation. He was named to the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame in 1990. In 1992, he was inducted into the International Motorsports Hall of Fame. He was named to the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America in 1995. He passed away in Detroit on June 6, 1941, and was laid to rest in Indianapolis, Indiana's Holy Cross and St. Joseph Cemetery.